Why did officials fail to take steps to prevent the gruesome suicide attacks of April 21st by a group of extremists headed by Zaharon Hashim? A seven-member bench comprising Chief Justice Jayanta Jayasuriya demanded explanation on this regard from the attorney to IGP sent on compulsory leave, Pujit Jayasundara. The bench raised the question when considering 12 fundamental rights petitions that request charges be filed against the IGP, the Secretary to the Ministry of Defence and the Prime Minister along with the Cabinet of Ministers. The bench stated, had an order been given to the officers in charge of police stations to tighten security on account of the information provided by the Director of State Intelligence conveyed via phone call on the mornings of the 20th and 21st of April, the effects of such an attack could have been minimised. The bench also queried as to whether the role of the IGP does not go beyond merely issuing a letter to junior officers, instead going to the extent of advising that steps be taken to provide serious orders to junior officers while also monitoring the said actions. The bench further said some sort of information should have been given to the Cardinal and the Catholic Council as well as priests heading churches. The bench also elaborated that both the IGP and former Secretary to the Ministry of Defence could have taken steps to use the special units such as the Police Special Task Force and Army units so they could have been directed in a planned manner. Responding to the claims by the bench, the attorney representing Pujit Jaya Sundara, while accepting that his client did receive information regarding the attack, added that as there was no certain information on where the attacks could take place, that his client avoided revealing such information into an open forum as it was unsuitable to do so. His lawyer further added that his client had passed on the intel to officers that were better versed in the area of counter-terrorism, including the senior deputy inspector general in charge of the police special task force and four other senior DIGs. Further consideration of the petitions were postponed to tomorrow.